Which you guys got another video here for you on how to disable the force bit locker encryption during the installation of Windows 11 24H2. Now we all know that BitLocker is now going to be forced on you and it's going to be turned on by default when you start to install Windows 11 24H2 and I've even heard that it's on uh, 23H2 as well which means basically you're going to be uh, having your drives encrypted which is not a good thing if people forget their key. Now the key can be saved in many different places attached to your Microsoft account which is probably going to be the easiest way because it'll be the easiest way to recover your uh, data if you need to use the recovery uh, key. There's also other ways like you can store it onto a pen drive or flash drive and you can install it as a file on your computer but then if you can't boot your computer up for some reason and you want to access your data, you're not going to be able to until you unencrypt uh, that drive. And you can see here, this is basically telling us our drive has been encrypted. And how can you recover it? Well, you can use the recovery key, which will look something like that on the screen. If you skip this and go to continue, it will bring you back to this window right here. So I can see this being a major headache for a lot of people that are not familiar with uh, hard drive encryption. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try to boot to a Windows CD just to show you what most people will try and try to recover their data. So you might see something looking like this and then you're going to click next here. And I'm just showing you what people would generally do if they want to gain access to their data. So you'd click repair your computer. You may want to go into, say, troubleshoot and you might want to go into command prompt. And if you go in here and try to do anything with your drive and it's encrypted, you're not going to be able to because it's asking you here for the recovery key to gain access to that data. So you're not going to be able to do it even through a WinPE or anything like that. There's a lot of questions that people ask about WinPE. You can't gain access to the data because the drive is encrypted. If you look here and I type C colon, you will see the drive is locked by BitLocker drive encryption. You must unlock this drive uh, from the control panel. So you need to boot up to the system and then use your key to recover or unlock it so you can gain access to your data. And this is going to be a common problem. Now, if you've stored your key on your computer, on your uh, partition on another drive, which you should never do, but if you have done, you'll be able to navigate to that location and write your key down and then basically use that key to unlock and recover your data. And you can see here, the recovery key was put onto another partition, which you really should never do, really. You should store it off the computer, and you should also have it either attached to your Microsoft account if you are going to use BitLocker, so you can recover it that way. So let's take a look at how we can disable the BitLocker encryption during the installation process. So when you get to the country or region page, which is your out of box experience page, you want to push the shift plus F10. And basically this will open up a command prompt window when you're at this stage of installing windows or reinstalling windows. You want to type in here, task MGR, all one word, and you can go into here and open up a new task from here we can open up the registry editor or you can type registry editor straight into the box if you want to. But I'm going to go through here and run this as administrator privileges and type uh, reg edit right inside here. Click OK and this will open up the registry editor. So from here, we need to navigate to this location right here, to the location you see on the screen right now. Now, I can understand why Microsoft are doing this is because it's another security layer that you can add to your computer but they're not taking into account the majority of people are not clued up and they don't understand what even BitLocker is or what even uh, hard drive encryption is and this can cause them a lot of problems if they lose their key and uh, if they can't gain access to it they're going to lose all of their precious data so inside that location the BitLocker folder right here you want to go over to the right hand pane here right click on that blank space, go new, and we're gonna do a DWORD 32-bit value right here. Now we need to give this a name, so we're gonna call this Prevent Device Encryption, like so. And what this is gonna do is tell uh, Windows not to 
uh, encrypt your drive, basically, and it's going to prevent that from running uh, during the installation process. So this is how you can prevent, uh, you know, BitLocker from running at startup. So to do that, double click on it, and we need to give this another value. So give it a value of one, and we're going to click OK here. Once you've done that, you can now close off uh, the registry editor here, and this will tell the Windows installation not to encrypt your drive. So we can now close off the command prompt so we can continue now for the installation. I'll quickly speed this process up. And there we are, we're at the desktop. And you should now have a system that is not encrypted. And if you go to manage BitLocker, once you get on here by typing BitLocker in the search, you will now see that the BitLocker is turned off. It's not on. So if it was encrypted, it would say BitLocker on and your drive would then be encrypted by default. And that's something that you don't really want unless you really want to encrypt your hard drive. Personally, if it's as bad as people forgetting their password to log into their system, then they're going to obviously forget their key. Now, if you've got Windows 11 Pro and above, you can go into the Group Policy Editor at this stage and you can disable it from in here as well. Let me just quickly uh, show you so we're going to go to this location right here and we're going to come down to BitLocker drive encryption and then we need to open this up and go to fixed data drives inside fixed data drives on the right hand pane here just look right here for deny right access to fixed drives uh, not protected by BitLocker so that's what we want to do here and what you want to do here is you want to disable this feature so Click this uh, as disable. If you disable or do not configure this policy, all fixed data drives on this computer will be mounted with read and write access. And that's how you want to uh, do it. You don't want to encrypt those. So once you've done that, you should be good to go. Uh, next, you can go to the services if you want to. If you don't want to use a BitLocker, you can also turn off the service here. Now, of course, you need to do this after the fact. So if you are using Windows, you can actually turn this service off by going to BitLocker drive encryption uh, service properties is set to manual uh, but you if you want to disable it i will put that on disable if you don't want to use a bit locker at all and that way it won't ever uh, start up so click uh, disable there and that's how you can disable it inside your services now there's also another way of doing it from rufus where you can disable uh, bit locker during the installation and i'll make another video showing you that as well but that's basically if you want to create your own bootable iso uh, with uh, Rufus and basically disabling uh, Bitdefender via that method. So if people are going to forget their Windows login passwords easily, then it's quite easy for them to forget what their uh, encryption key is and where they've stored it or something like that. And this will be an absolute nightmare for a lot of people. I can see it happening. And this is for Windows 11 23 H2 and also Windows 11 24 H2. By default, uh, BitLocker encryption will be enabled. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server a chat. Bye for now.